Hello, Storm Web, Scottish Sci-Fi. Why am I using this voice? I don't know. Stop it. Hello, Storm Web, Scottish Sci-Fi.co.uk and Scottish Sci-Fi.com. You can follow me on Twitter at DVD Boat, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe, all that stuff. Um, back again for more whiskey shenanigans. This time it's whiskey with an E. But it's still single malt. Which is okay. It's not Irish, eh? It's a murker. <laughs> it's American. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, not taking the piss. Um, okay, don't kill me. Um, I surrender. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this is uh, Balc This is Balconies. It's Balconies Texas Single Malt Whiskey. It's a single barrel effort. It's um from the uh, lads and lasses uh, of. Uh, Master of Malt and British Bourbon Society. Don't know why I've put on a voice there. So um, this is a private selection single barrel, uh, which uh, was created, produced um, by Master of Malt with input from the British Bourbon Society. Hello. 62.8% um, shit. Uh, okay. 62.8% um, alcohol. And um, it was what? Use the bourbon finish. Should have done some research on this one, shouldn't I? Okay, so apparently it's barrel, barrel number 10011. Sounds like binary. It is for something. I'm not going to work out right now because I can't be honest. It was distilled on the 5th of May 2016 and it was bottled, bottled a year ago. It's bottled on the 8th of June 2019. So it's only just over three years old. That's fine. Um, look at the colour on that for a three-year-old, but then it's American. So anyway, uh, never chill filtered or coloured. It's about coloured wrong, American. Anyway, uh, um, about a year in bottle. That's interesting. Um, I guess it took its time coming over on the boat. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I, I'm going to have to ask somebody about that. Um, and I'm also going to have to ask about the barrel because apparently it's in a used bourbon finish. A used bourbon finish. So, is it ex bourbon matured or ex bourbon cask finished and originally in virgin oak like everything else in America? America. Oh, and it's whiskey. It's whiskey without any. I talked uh, rubbish earlier. That's everything's going weird. Everything's gone weird. That's it. The world's coming to an end. COVID, all the rest of it. I want to take the wax seal off it because I like picking at things. Um, anyway, uh, yes, right. Okay, let's try. Let's try something. Okay, the original Texas spirit. Right, sixty-two point eight. That's weird. Sorry. Three things went through my mind right then. Number one, that's incredibly easily sniffable for sixty-two point eight percent. Ridiculously sniffable, as in it didn't burn. It's three years old. Weird. Also, coffee. So much coffee liqueur on this. Just like coffee liqueur, man. That's just like a bloody coffee martini or something. Wow. How interesting. Loads of chocolate. Really chocolatey. Really like melted chocolate, milky chocolate, not white, milky. <sighs> not oaky at all. It, it's like, God, I don't know what, if I'd have been given this blind, God, if I'd have been given this blind, what would I have thought? don't actually know what I would have thought if I was given this blind. I really don't know what I would think. I'd even go as far as to thinking Speyside, heavily sherried, um, chocolatey sherried kind of, and it's not sherried at all, but, but blind tasting, the coffee and the chocolate elements, I'm kind of, you know, if it was blind, I'm not, it's not blind. But I, I always think these kind of things when I'm tasting the whiskey. It's like, what would I have thought if I didn't know what it was? I would have never said it was this. 
this could be very interesting for a tasting. Sorry, put off by something. Wow, right, okay, let's try to break this down then. Oh, God, this is difficult, right. <laughs> Loads of coffee and chocolate. Lots of chocolate, definitely. Chocolate's coming more. Uh, the coffee liqueur thing hit me like a ton of bricks when I first sniffed this. It's been poured there for at least half an hour, okay? So it's not it's not straight out of the bottle. It is a fresh bottle open half an hour ago, but it's been sat there for about half an hour to open up, so... Loads of chocolate. Coffee, definitely. Very richly sweet. Lots of honey, thick caramel. Maybe a bit of clove. There's definitely some spice in there that I can't like put my finger on. It's very rich and complex composition. It's doing my head in already. Very, very thick and luxurious. Okay, I, uh, one thing I didn't say, how much is it? It's 90 quid a bottle. I don't know if it's, um, I don't actually know if it's openly available on Master or Malt because this is a uh, British Bourbon Society exclusive. Um, it might be by now, it might have all sold out by now in all fairness, but can only single barrels normally sell out pretty quick. It's available as of today, which is probably about a week after I bought it. So it's it's not sold out there yet, if you can find the link. So one way to find the link would be to join the British Bourbon Society on Facebook and have a look. It's not bourbon though, but anyway. Um, God, it's it's just, it's dumbfounding me, it really is. It's, um, so yeah, uh, just incredibly rich, incredibly coffee chocolate, lots of honey. Fruit-wise, maybe a little bit of cherry. The fruit side of it, I'm finding really hard to pick up. It's incredibly. Let me put the taste notes on it. What do they think? Nothing. It's just cut and paste of the usual single barrel kind of stuff. Anyway, it's 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 fascinating stuff. It really is. Right, let's taste it. Sixty-two point eight. Get ready, tongue. You're going in. Fun. Wow. That's a lot of flavour. That is a lot of flavour. How the hell am I going to put words around that? Right. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. No, it's more than lovely. It's rambunctious. It's, it's a bully boy. It's a beater. Pretty awesome, in all fairness. Pretty awesome. Right. Christ, put words around it. warm and it's more um god so much sticky black treacle incredible mouthfeel very sweet molasses despite 62.8 percent it's very drinkable but there is a point throughout the tasting where it gets a little bit hot. But it would. 62.8%. Uh, unless you've got an asbestos tongue. And then you wouldn't taste anything, would you?
That is so full of flavour. I'm shaking my head there because it's just too much information. This really is, this is blowing my mind. Okay, let's add some water. It, it's, it's good. It's good. Put a fair little whack of water in there. God. It's a beast. It's a flavour beast. My nose is starting to get a bit broken. Where's my coffee? Two seconds. Let's reset the old nasal capacity with a wee bit of coffee. What a face to pull. Okay, with a little bit of water, there's um, those, those stone fruits, the kind of cherry that I kind of hinted on, that's definitely getting more prominent now. Definitely coffee. And that's not just because I just smell a tub of coffee. There's coffee coming out of here. <laughs> definitely coffee. Lots of chocolate. It's a little bit spicier now with water. It's definitely breaking it down a little bit. Needs would need to need to drop water. Definitely getting stone fruits now. Not like woohoo, I made it that night. Cherries. That's stunning. That's really, really good stuff. That's pretty awesome. That's, this would throw me blind, it really would. Um, I'm, I'm here trying to put bourbon on it, and I just can't. I can't put bourbon notes on it. I can't put rye notes on it. It's, it's whiskey, but it's kind of, oh, it's just, <laughs> this is difficult. This is going on far too long and this is difficult. But what I will say is, it's thought provoking. It's definitely one to contemplate and spend time with. It's not a glugger. I reckon this will just get more and more complex the more you go through adding water and spending time with this whiskey. Really good. Guys and gals, British Bourbon Society, Master of Malt, people who selected this. Nice one. Why was it in bottle for a year before it came out? That's my only question. Um, Tasty. Well done. Yeah, those fruits really come out with a bit of water. I'm going to do a bit more water. That's quite a bit of water. <clears throat> but yeah, the fruit's definitely coming out with the first dollop of water. Look at me swirl that glass. That's wrong, isn't it? Is that making you feel bad? <sighs> Not saying anything, swirl gate. Anyway. <sighs> Much more fruity now. The richness has definitely subsided, not as, as sweet and intense in the syrupy kind of nature of it all. Definitely more fruits, definitely along that kind of cherry and raspberry kind of... Yeah, I got a bit of raspberry. Still got the chocolate. It's like a fruity chocolate bar, man. Still really complex and really interesting and just flipping out. It's good stuff. This is good stuff. This this will last a while. It's like whiskey whiskey concentrate. You can add a lot of water to this and just keep going and still be having immense time trying to figure out what the hell is going on up your nose. 
and it's nice as well <laughs> it's always added bonus there's no there's no nasty no nasty points it's just solid tasty beautiful smell right okay taste again Mm. it's really nice um probably put a little bit too much water in it for my liking but saying that much very very accessible now lot more vanillas now flipping out Still got all that coffee and chocolate thing going on. Dialed down quite significantly to its initial and undiluted kind of strength. So there's a lot, lot dialed down now. Still plenty of chocolate, a little bit of coffee, more fruit. Thoroughly, thoroughly delicious. Nicely done. I'm calling it a day because that's far too long a video for this, but but it demands it, quite frankly. It's a complex beast and you can play around with it, so it takes extra time. One to spend time over, one not to glug, one to, you know, sit there and contemplate and watch the world go by with and uh, enjoy, most definitely enjoy. That'll be it for now, folks. See you next time.